So today we have a very special unboxing. Asus was kind enough to send out this Asus Vivo book and partner on this video because this is not your ordinary unboxing. This is a special edition of the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. It's in collaboration with a bathing ape, otherwise known as Bape. And this is kind of where like technology meets fashion to give you kind of a different look on your laptop compared to everything else that's out there. There's also a little bit of an Intel involved in this because, you know, this laptop is Intel Evo certified. So you're gonna get some of those benefits of having very good battery life performance along with good webcams the list goes on but inside the box what you get is another box plus a carrying bag now this bag really has a theme going on like it has the green camel color you have all your milo characters you have some asus vivo book branding along the edges the characters are peeking out from the camel colors it looks kind of nice and then when you open it up 180 degrees, you have all your pockets. So you can fit, let's say, your charger here, some of the other knickknacks that are probably inside of here. And of course, this space is for the actual laptop. But this is the main box to take a look at. Like, this looks absolutely awesome. I love the green colors they're using. Again, carrying on with the camo theme, you have the big BAPE logo directly in the middle, and of course, the ASUS VivoBook branding. Now inside the box, we have a lot of little goodies. Right off the top, you have more branding, which says Asus Vivo Book. And then on the bottom, you have the actual laptop and a bunch of other cool stuff. So for one, you have a little figurine over here, a Milo figurine of Bape himself, looking a little cute inside here. And this is just kind of like, you know, a little extra to go along with your purchase. You can keep this in your room or place it on your desk. Overall, it feels very solid and will look nice on your desk if you are studying and you wanna have a little character looking at you. Now inside here, we have a bunch of stickers. Now this is cool because not only do you get like branded BAPE stickers that you can place on your laptop or somewhere else, but you also have keyboard stickers. So like you could literally place these anywhere you want on your keyboard to give it its own unique look. You also have the charger. This is a 90 watt charger. We are using an H series processor, so obviously it requires a bit more power. And then over here, you have a Asus VivoBook Bathing Ape Marshmallow Mouse. So what that is, is you have a tiny little mouse that you can carry in your bag that's obviously can be connected using Bluetooth and it's looking really cool with this camo layout. I like the way it feels. It has a nice round texture. The top is a little gritty, so it feels nice and good against your hand. It's not gonna slip away. You could either use Bluetooth to pair, and then you can change the DPI on the bottom over here. Inside, you also have another shell to place on top. So maybe the camo case is a little bit too busy for you, and you want something a bit more minimalistic, then you can swap it out for the black one instead. Now, this is what the laptop is going to look like. You have kind of the same idea as the box, but this is like the linear version of the camo colors. And it's been like photo etched on top of the lid. This is a metallic lid, so it does feel very premium. And depending on how the light shines, it sometimes lights up in white lines, depending on how strong the light source is. Now this little portion over here that says Asus Vivo Book, a bathing ape, is metal. Like this is a metal piece attached to your metal lid. And I think it actually looks really cool. The overall laptop is very well made. It's only like 3.5 pounds. You do have the Asus Vivo Book branding on the back. There's some pretty good IO. You know, for example, on the left-hand side, you have a USB a port, your lights, and then on the right hand side, you have the rest of your IO. So that power connector for that 90 watt charger, HDMI port, this is HDMI 1.4, another USB A port, and then you have a Thunderbolt 4 port, and of course your combo audio jack. Now the laptop is easily open using one hand since the top of the webcam sticks out. It just gives a nice place to put your finger. And when you look at the deck of this keyboard, there's more branding attached to this. First, I do wanna mention that the entire laptop can go all the way back 180 degrees, but the keyboard, the numpad is all well spaced out. In fact, these keys are very nice and clicky. They feel very good to type on. Now, some of the stuff is standard on other Vivo books, like the orange colored keys. Of course, you have that enter button. If you want, 
You could actually take some of those stickers and place them on the keycaps if you want more Bathing Ape branding. And even if you look at the bottom of the keyboard deck, for example, you have this big touchpad. It is a plastic touchpad, but it's using that linear camo pattern, which I think looks absolutely awesome. On the bottom right-hand corner, you have the Bathing Ape logo, but one of the stars of this show has to be this display. Now it's 16 by nine, it's 120 Hertz, but it's a 2.8K OLED display. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Like it gets bright enough, it has impeccable color accuracy and a very big color gamut, but you also get other touches. For example, you have this wallpaper, which again is showing all the Milo characters just kind of peeking out from the camo colors in the background. I think there's even a live wallpaper version that you can utilize, and depending where you put your mouse, the character will pop out, which I thought was pretty cool. There is a 1080p webcam at the top. Again, it's gonna be good quality since this is an Intel Evo certified laptop. Okay, so right now you're looking at the front-facing camera of the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. You guys let me know how it looks, and more importantly, how the microphone sounds. The performance on this guy is good. You know, like this is a laptop with an i9-13900H CPU paired with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and a very fast one terabyte NVMe SSD. CPU performance on this is going to be fantastic. If you're a developer who wants to compile code, this is an H series processor. This is stronger than the U series that Intel currently offers. If you're someone using Photoshop or Lightroom, this laptop is completely perfect for that, especially with this gorgeous display. Fan noise is also good. It doesn't get too loud even when it's under full load. It's not getting too crazy. But of course, if you're in class or, or you're somewhere where you want things to be quiet, you can adjust the performance profile, make it a bit lower, and then have a quieter experience. So I totally missed this, but in the box, it also comes with this cool little mini printed Asus VivoBook S15 laptop. And I think the idea is you take the laptop and you place it in these little slots in the little Milo character. I mean, come on, the little things, right? That looks really, really cool. Now, this is an aluminum bottom as well. Of course, you have a little bit more branding over here, a little orange accent color on the back right. But this is what the internals look like. If you're picking this up, just know that RAM is soldered onto the motherboard, so make sure to get enough for this thing to last you a very long time. You can swap out the Wi-Fi card. You also have one slot for a drive. You can swap it out for something bigger if you want to, but this has good read and write speeds. One fan to cool the CPU, but you do get two copper heat pipes. Battery size is 75 watt hours, which should get you through the entire day. So here you have it, exclusive look at the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED, a bathing ape edition. You guys let me know what you think of this specific collaboration. Do you like when Asus collaborates with other fashion brands to give you these unique laptop experience? I think it's cool, you know? Laptops usually all look the same. I'm glad Asus is trying to go out there and create products that look different than everything else that's currently on the market. Now, if you want to pick this up, there'll be a link in the description down below. Also, if you want a full review, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.